All right, let's see if there's another story, shall we? I hope there is. Yay! Maybe I'll just go check in on Anders, just in case. I think there's a new one, right? Uh, yeah, Bobby's obituary. Oh no. This is a story about Bobby. When Bobby was not working, she would hang with the rest of the people at the Hermit Bar. The Hermit Bar was where everyone met. They did not spend time hanging out for Sunday dinners, going hiking or other activities you might otherwise do with friends you've known for 20 years. They always just met there. Sometimes they wouldn't even bother talking. After her brother's death, for the first time in 20 years, Bobby stopped coming to the bar. It didn't take long for her friends to notice and start talking. They were worried about for Bobby. She would always show up for work or in the mornings. Show up after work, sorry. Whether rain or shine. Give her some time and she'll be back, her friends would say. But Bobby did not come back to the hermit bar and soon the rumors and stories started to take form. Bobby must have missed her dear brother so much that she had decided to follow and reunite with both of them. With both him. Uh, at the hermit bar, people are like family and they look after each other. So it was soon decided that Bobby should not die forgotten. Therefore, they all sat down and wrote Bobby's obituary to the local newspaper. Life then continued at the bar and the guests would always speak highly of the times when Bobby was still alive. Bobby would never know that she was supposedly dead. With her brother gone, she decided it was high time to focus on her own life. So on a fateful day, driving her usual route to the hermit bar, Bobby didn't stop to meet her old friends, but instead just kept on driving. She drove and drove until she reached a bar in a place called Elk. After 20 years, it was time to change the scenery and Bobby soon found new friends to hang with and feel at home at her new bar. Bobby may not have ever known she was declared dead, but she knew she felt reborn at her new place. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a nice ending. I thought she was gonna die or something. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, it's kind of weird that these stories... Uh, they, they do appear in our table and I read them before the actual, like... Uh, implementation of the, st m the story in the gameplay has happened. Frig! Oh, Frig. I need your help. Uh, actually, I was just on my way. Thank you, Frig. You're the best. I mean real estate. Oh, I mean the real estate. <laughs> I'm guessing Bobby isn't back yet? Oh, Frig. My heart can't take hearing her name. It's the worst. Please, I need you to read this. Let my writing say what my lips can't. I was kind of in a hurry. Read it. Please. Is this the obituary, I guess? Um, sure, Sue. I can give a quick read. Yeah, this obituary is to say goodbye to our beautiful, uh, beautifulest Bobby. As if it's written on paper, it's gotta mean it's important. Bobby was a sexy woman who served as beer, but she was also the ray of rare sun on this pissing rock sitting in the cold sea. We'll miss her and will be lost without her. Goodbye, sweet mistress of the frothy, beer-soaked nights. <laughs> nice obituary, I guess. Got a picture of them too. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't know. If you didn't know them, you wouldn't know who Bobby is, but okay. So this is an obituary. You can't be serious. Is Bobby... Is she really gone? What other answer is there? How could she possibly be away for, from her Sue for so long? Wait. So you don't actually know. We're having drinks for her now at the Hermit. What she would have wanted. We need to drink for my darling Bobby. Oh, well, I guess that sounds nice. You'll come join us, right, Frig? You're like family now. Ugh. Yes, of course, Sue. I'm right behind you. Thank you. I need as many shoulders to cry on as I can get. Let's get going. The first drinks are on me. Well, if everyone's at the Hermit, Anders probably is too. Oh, we, oh this flag is not uh, hoisted because the uh, she's disappeared, I guess. In memory of... Can I get another beer here? Yay! Got a plush toy again. Look at this. Pella takes a ball. He runs the south corner. Kicks it in. And goal! <laughs> uh, wow, everyone's here. Where's Anders? He's not here, though. So you went behind my back and did it. I don't wish to speak too loudly of it. 
But yes, the deed is done. It's quite exhilarating, if I'm honest. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Just a nominated figurehead, you know. I can't protect us from the likes of him. The worst is, he knows it. You know we can't keep quiet anymore. We'll get loads of you. Would have helped if you'd grown the conscience earlier, don't you think? I ain't calling myself a Boy Scout. Well, I thought he was brave of you, young Victor. To stand with us against your brother. Ha! Well, aren't you just two peas in the pod? But what exactly am I supposed to do? You're sheriff, ain't you? So do that. That so? Maybe I should start by locking your ass up? You and me both know you ain't gonna do that. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, real sorry to interrupt, but uh, have any of you seen Anders? Brig, you really do have the most impeccable timing. It's nice to see you. But alas, no, I haven't seen our joyous friend today. Yeah, I haven't seen Ghost Boy either. Hmm, what they said. Should we be worried? No, no, I'm sure everything's fine. If you do see him, could you let me know, though? Of course, you can count on me. Thanks so much. Oh god, now he's gone and disappeared again as well? Not again, but as well. Hi there, Frig. Figured you'd wind up here eventually. Hey everyone. Um, have you, any of you seen Anders? Not yet, but it won't take him long to join us this circus. What is all this? Bobby, he's not actually dead, right? Ha! No, no more than you or me are. It might come as a shock, but this isn't the first time we've been through this. Sue, she loves her melodrama. I don't get it. So Bobby's coming back, right? Oh, sure, she just visits her aunt every spring. Her aunt lives on the neighbor neighboring highland, just a bit of a bugger to get to. Wait, so this is a fake funeral? Hey, a party's still a party, right? Mom, can I have some more cake? Ah, sure thing, sweetie. I guess there isn't anything to worry about. Except there is no sign of Anders yet. Right, so they've got, <laughs> they've done this funeral thing before, that's quite funny. Um, a nice painting of her. Not sure what those ends are supposed to be doing there, but okay. Hey, have either of you three seen Anders? I'm grieving here, Frigg. I can't deal with the shackles of other people's problems. I don't even know what day is it. It's Tuesday. It was rhetorical, Martin. All I know is, uh, any day without Bobby is a wasted one. And that's all I've got to look for now. Oh, sorry, Sue. And sorry, Frig, I haven't seen Anders today. I've been busy baking for the party today. Party? It's a funeral, Martin. Right. Sorry, yeah, I mean, uh, for the funeral. I don't care what this is. Me and this baby just want more of that delicious cake. It's true, the cake is delicious. Oh, thanks guys. So he's... <laughs> apart from being the nurse, he's also a star baker. That's nice. Okay, but let me know if you see Anders. Will do, Frig. Hey, everyone! Everyone! Thank you all for gathering here today. Look, we all know life can feel like wearing shoes made of shit. So thick that even a good beer can't wash them. But Bobby, she could make you feel like you weren't wearing shoes at all. She had the biggest heart and a smile that could break any tin can. There's nothing she wouldn't do for anyone. I loved her, and she loved me. And now? Damn it. I just miss her. To my darling Bobby. Well, well, if it isn't another sad-ass party. I thought they dealt with him. What? Did another w one of you fucks bite the bullet? Hey. Oh, Aaron, looks like they aren't- they ain't too happy to see you. Get out. I beg your fucking pardon. What did you just say to me? I said get out. We're saying goodbye to the fucking love of my life. And you sure weren't not a fucking invited. So get the fuck out. Oof, the tension. Palpable. Oh, shall I do something? Do. I'm s sorry. I am so fucking sorry. But are you... are you telling me what to do? Sue! Oh, wait, Sue. <laughs> just come back over here. Yeah, come on, Sue. It's okay. I think I've just about fucking had it. Has everyone lost their shitting minds? 
good do you all think you are? Get the fuck out. Hmm. That's funny. Har 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 har! Oh my. But lady, I gotta tell ya. You are so fucking dead. Freeze! Put your hands up! The fuck is this? Hands! Now! You what? Final warning! Is that... Is that girl with the mustache? Car <laughs> so weird. <laughs> the character on the right. Oh, he's done for. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. One of you shits talked. You're a hard man to find. Uh, You're a hard man to find, Leroy Brown. But we've been patient. Very patient. Sorry, folks. No need to be alarmed. We're from the mainland police force. We'll take it from here. Where's Officer Olsen? Um, I'm here, ma'am. Nice work on the tip-off. Wait, what? I mean, you're welcome? Been after this asshole for quite some time, so you really did us a favor. Come on, let's get him out of here. The boat's waiting. Wait! Slap him in the face as he's gone. Okay, let's... <laughs> the hell is that? Victor, fucking do something! It's done, Leroy. What? Why you? You ungrateful son of a bitch! I said move. I'll fucking kill all of you! You hear me? All of you! Keep up the good work, Officer Olsen. Good day to the rest of you. Uh, well... That was unexpected. Get the fuck out of here, Ren. Yeah, well, then... I guess I'll be on my way! Yeah, good riddance, I say. That bastard ruined my speech. What? What just happened? Well, as you could hear from the, my fellow officers, I think you'll find I just saved the day. The hell you did, Clara? Uh-huh. But they mentioned me specifically? That's only because we used your name when we made the call. You what? That's fraud. You realize how much trouble I could have been in? Look, they weren't gonna come all this way unless it sounded credible. It was better that it came from you. It should have come from you a long time ago. Yeah, definitely. Easy for you to say. What are you all bickering for? The crusty evil bastard is finally gone. So who cares who did what? Jeez, it was me who had to wheel you all into it in the first place. I got this baby coming, so it's time for everyone to grow up. Ain't no way in hell I'm letting trash like that be around. So... We should celebrate, but we are we were already celebrating for Bobby. Someone say my name? What is going on here? Dude, are you throwing me a funeral again? <laughs> and we talked about this. Bobby! Oh my god, Bobby! I missed you so much! <laughs> oh, and I missed you too. <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> it's good to see Bobby's back. But wait, where's Anders? To the... I have a sinking feeling. I gotta find Anders. To the Batcave. I'm sure he's alright. Probably pe preparing for the next afterlife or something like that. Oh no, he's, he's left a message. He's not here. This isn't good. I hope he didn't go do something stupid like kill himself so he just could move on to the next afterlife. Wait, there's something here. A letter addressed to me? Dear Frigg, sorry that I didn't get to say goodbye but I was so excited I couldn't wait. I've decided it's time to go to the next afterlife. I fucking knew it. Oh, Jesus. I want to meet my parents and see Kluben again. I'm sorry we'll be away from each other for a while, but I promise I'll wait in the next afterlife for you. In the meantime, we'll always have our stories together. Thanks for everything, Frigg. P.S. You can have all my rock friends. Oh my god, see this is what happens when uh, you just uh, feed into their disillusions. Oh, that's ter terrible. Gone to the next afterlife? What does that mean? Anders, where are you? No sign of him? None? But look at this. 
Yeah, I don't think that was... He was okay at first, so he wouldn't be sad about Coleman's death, but then you have to take him to the serious level and reality, because you can't, you can't expect... Man, he... Yeah. How do you deal with something like this? Looks serious. What are we gonna do, Jan? We have to find him before he hurts himself. Hmm. I think I might know where to look. Really? Yeah, follow me. And I hope we're worth... I hope we're uh, still on time. Let's head to the docks. You think he's near the water? Can't explain it, but I think I have a pretty good hunch. Okay, I'm right behind you. And I hope he is. Frig, you've been a true salty dog for us here on Elk. Thank you for everything. Uh, sure? Oh, no problem, Ingrid. You go and find Anders. We will. I promise. Oh, I'm sure of it. Uh, he's all the way... Oh, what's this? No way! A spear hidden behind this rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, wh who's this guy, though? Oh, hey. Um, I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> Brig! I know where Anders is gone. Wait, what? Don't take no notice of her. Just look after yourself, Frigg. Um, but what about... It's okay, Frigg. We know. And hey, thanks for listening to us. Yeah, thanks, Frigg. You're welcome. Kind of cool, the, the, this character just came here to the island just to experience their stories. Kind of just like us. You know, I think I might have finally taken a shine to you, new girl. Even if you do have a nose for other people's businesses. What do you reckon, Marge? Still need a name. Shall we call our baby Frigg? Uh, yeah, I like the sound of that. Wow, really? You'd really name your baby after me? Ah, no. What, are you stupid? <laughs> We're just goofing with you. But seriously, take good care of yourself. Yeah, keep your eyes out for trouble. Yeah, um, thanks. Another stash of beer, of course. Um, let's keep going down. kind of feels like the end of the game. Everyone's here to talk, chat a bit with us. Uh, Martin, you'll need to be on standby. We're gonna bring Anders back, but he might be hurt. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, Frigg. I wish I had your confidence. What Martin means is, you won't be coming back, so don't sweat it. What? Don't take no notice of her, Frigg. You get going, and take care. Uh, right. What, they... Are they uh, expelling me from the uh, the islands or what? Ah, Frigg! Godspeed on your quest! Thanks, Mr. Bow. You can throw us another big party when we bring Anders back. Oh, wouldn't that be delightful? Although, stories that overstay their welcome are usually not the best ones. I, um, I don't quite understand. Yes, I know, my dear, but you will. Let me just say, as a departing note, that it has been a privilege spending time in your company. Goodbye, Frigg. Um, bye. I'll see you soon, though. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be lovely? They are kicking me off the islands. <laughs> yes, we're overstayed now. Welcome, as a bow there put it so eloquently. I gotta thank you, Frigg, for taking care of my Sue while I was gone. That bump on her head looks like it hurts. Ah, it was nothing. Well, with Frigg going, I'll have to keep an even closer eye on you. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Hey, um, we'll be back with Anders in no time. We couldn't have gone... He couldn't have gone far. We'll all be having a beer together in the Hermit in no time. Well, well, I'll keep a glass handy. Always room for one more pint. Okay, it's a deal. Bum, 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 bum. The docks. Oh, it's the boat is complete. You, you finished it. Sure did. Isn't it funny how things always come together at the end? I knew it. I'd known it for so long I just didn't want to admit it. This boat, it's the one from my dreams. 
<laughs> is that right? So, shouldn't we get going? Yes. Do you know how to take us there? Um, like I said, it's a hunch, but I fancy my chances. Let's go then. Let's go find Anders. Well, all right then. Anders! That was him! We found him! Looks like we call it right. And he didn't look hurt. But this place, where are we? Feels so strange. Yet familiar? My mind's a little hazy, but I think I've been here before? Um, let's just focus on finding Anders. Is this the second afterlife? Oh, this is the... Wait, this is not the bar I built. <laughs> Close. Close to it, but... So, you're going in? I have to. I need to get Anders. And maybe... Maybe I want to understand what all of this means. Sure. Just remember, sometimes a good story is all it ever was. It was what? Just that rig. It was just a good story. Uh, oh man, I guess uh, that's uh, that's the end. That was a really enjoyable uh, little indie game. I like the whole the whole premise of the game. It's just about telling the stories of these three characters and the stories of uh, the rest of the team, uh, families and friends, whatever it is. It's pretty cool. It's a nice uh, twist to uh, gameplay. Uh, the the game itself, the sound, sound engineering, and the uh, gameplay aspects, really, really on point. I really enjoyed the, listening to all these super sweet tunes, relaxing throughout the game. The animations was really cool as well, and uh, the whole overall the aspect how they merged 
these stories into gameplay and little mini games. The mini games as well, man. Very nice, very relaxing. It's a nice twist to uh, general video games. You're just there to listen to stories and that's it. I mean, uh, all the rest is just a bit of a sideline. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my time. Hopefully you boys and girls enjoyed the watching the game. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I found it really cutesy, artistic, and uh, overall a nice way to spend a couple of hours. And yeah, can't wait to, to see. I, I, I like the... Um, at the end there we could see the, all the, the team, that was quite nice. Not a lot of games do that. And it's nice to see how, the, how everyone is behind these type of games, you know? Especially when they are this small. To see everyone fit, uh, like crammed in that little uh, little rooms, that was quite cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Hulk and you guys too, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.